let's talk about expectations. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Brittany Simon. In today's video, we're gonna review a clip that's gone viral on the internet of girls at the gym. In particular, we're gonna react to how other people are viewing this and what I think everyone always misses, which is so frustrating. So from Molina, my friend, to uh, Destiny, my friend, to Flagrant covering it, to Abba and Preach covering it, to Kyla covering it, like people notice this story and we all have opinions. What's interesting is to see what side we all fall on and how and why we came to the conclusions we we did so let's watch together a fully green clip talking about everything 14 million views in the last three days okay uh, holy yeah. shit. did you see this Akash? yeah it's yeah. a it's an interesting video okay this show is basically like uh this is a female gym influencer talking about getting harassed at the gym coach girls at the gym i hate this i hate this i hate where those sweaters it's me so uncomfortable feral 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 like fucking feral Excuse me? You don't have to do that. It's okay. No, no, it's okay. I got it. Thank you, though. So like she's explaining. basically saying this guy in the corner of the gym is being a creep and he keeps staring at her and then he goes to try to help her put the 45 pound dumbbell on and she is just like, she has a big caption like, this is why I don't want kids because men are awful or whatever the fuck mm. she says. Oh, Did you yeah. see this one? Like, we, if anyone didn't see it, we can play it again real yeah, quick. Yeah, play it. I didn't Stand see up for myself. He I don't watch this contact the police And revoke my membership. Watch how crazy this mm. is. Like, this is so nuts. Do you need something? Do you need something? Okay, I thought so. What a bitch. Keep it pushing. If you're getting, if you're getting rude, you can leave. Nobody was looking at you any type of way. I don't own the gym, I, I work here. Okay. Yes. And that if you're getting what? rude, then you can leave. That means what? I can call the police and have you trespass mm -hmm. right now. Would you like that? Go ahead. Okay, cool. Go ahead, let him know. She is picking a fight. So right now, I'm just going to take this stuff and then I'll cut And when I stand up for myself... So this is another one that's super viral, kind of the same vibe. But listen to People this. People are weighing in basically saying, like, is this mistreatment? Are women being unfairly harassed at the gym, et cetera? Okay, this is, the, this is what I think is going this is on. This a good skirt. This is what I think is going on. Listen to Schultz. Do women get hit on at the gym all the fucking time? Of is it annoying? Absolutely. I'm mm -hmm. sure. I think that... V making a video of how you're getting hit on at the gym became trendy. Mm -hmm. And these girls are hopping on a trend with something that doesn't really justify harassment. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But this is not like a unique thing that they experience and they're like, let me just put this up to show what my life is like. It's literally them going, I could get some clout because this is the new thing to show how annoying guys are at the gym. Go. Like the se the second video of the girl seems like intentionally aggressive, like looking to pick a fight and looking to like seem like a hero by making a moment with this guy. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure that she's been like harassed in the gym before. I'm sure she's been hit on. It's super annoying. Like I don't discount that at all. And I think it happens all the time to a ton of women in the gym. No question. The first girl though, part of me seems like there's like a, I don't know. She seems like legitimately more scared. She seems scared. And I'm like, I almost feel like there's something more sad about it. Like, not to fucking bring the mood down, but like, she seems like someone that's like been traumatized in the past and like has had bad experiences with guys, mm -hmm. and then is like acting out of like fear and like a trauma response, and, and then is making it, that trauma response onto a situation that might not deserve. Exactly, it. and then making a video just glued into her own little world, being like, this is definitely what this was because she's traumatized, and then didn't realize it. And now she's getting killed on the internet. So I'm like, I almost feel bad for her, where I'm like, I don't even think she knew what she was doing. I mean, obviously, she's making content around it to be like, look at what a pervert this guy is, expecting everyone to validate her because she's living in her own little world because of the trauma she went through, is maybe, my assessment from maybe the fucking couch. Maybe it's both, though. Like, maybe both of them have experienced, like, horrible shit with dudes to have that idea about them in the first place. Yeah. Because when you first see a guy at the gym and, the, and your first assessment of that person is that they're trying to do something that is maybe not only objectifying you, but, like, potentially putting you in a dangerous situation, you went through some fucked up shit with dudes. Yeah, of course. Like, bad. So maybe the other girl reacted way more aggressive. And that just might be the way she responds. Yeah, maybe. Exactly. Where this one responds more out of fear. Maybe. But there has to be like a, a trigger point for both of them because this is irrational behavior. That's the way I look at it. I'm like no normal yeah. person, even a girl that gets hit on all the time at the gym, yeah. 
isn't like, oh, I'm scared, you're standing near me, get away from yeah. me. Like, that seems like irrational behavior due to some type of like. Maybe I gotta watch the first one back because I didn't really pick up on the fact that she was scared. I kind of saw like she was just like, oh, I know he's gonna talk to me, or I know he's gonna try to talk to me, I know he's gonna try to talk to me. And so then when he finally does, she was just really quick to just like, no, 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 I'm not going to accept any help because if I accept help, then it opens the door for you trying to talk to me. Mm -hmm. And that's and the way I... I I'm assuming that that happened in the past and then something horrible happened. Oh. Or, like... Or she just doesn't want attention when she's... Totally, but maybe, like, it happened and then, like, a dude... She was nice to a guy, and then he started mm. pressing her, and then stalking her, and then being like, "Yo, yeah. why the fuck did you who, who be nice not? to me if you're not gonna give me some pussy? What the fuck is wrong with you?" So like, usually, uh, I think what you're basically trying to say is there was like a horrible experience that's created mm. this irrational behavior from both mm -hmm. of them, but yeah. they're not acting like normal human beings. Like, this is not how you should behave, yeah, or not how you yeah. should feel in these moments. Yeah, like, yeah. I just wish all men knew like, don't hit on girls in the gym. Like, they've been complaining about this shit forever. So. Now we have some context to have this conversation. Now, I don't know if you guys saw, but a lot of people had opinions on what just happened. Melina commented and she was very upset that women were being talked to at the gym. Even Destiny, Steven, um, backed her up. I don't know if it's just because they're husband and wife, but they felt like women have been saying for a long time, please leave me alone. I'm at the gym. And then Kyla and I, I think, had different reactions, which was, look, if you're in an, a public setting outside in a gym, wherever, this is an opportunity for a lot of adults to meet one another. You know how adults are always complaining, how do I find friends? How do I find partners? How do I find people to be in love with? Well, it's not at work and not at school. So sometimes it's at the gym. When my brother and I used to go to the gym together, my brother is very handsome and we don't really look like one another. We kind of definitely, he looks like my dad. I look like my mom. And I would tell him like, get the fuck away from me. You're cock blocking me at the gym. And it's true. I didn't want people thinking we were together because before I got engaged and now I'm getting married, but before, before that, I would definitely want to be hit on at the gym. Like, yes, I'm in my moment when I'm working out. Don't talk to me while I'm fucking doing reps. But at the same time, like, you know, in between when I'm taking a water, there were some hot men at this gym. And every time they'd walk in, I'd like look at my brother. And I'm like, and he'd be like, and he was trying to help me too get a number. But the thing is, is like, I know I saw hesitancy in men. I know they were hesitating. But the thing is, is that I think because I am me, and because of who I am, I don't care if people hit on me and I reject them. We can still be homies. Like, I'm friends with a lot of people. I am I sleep with, like, in my past days, I used to sleep with my friends. So, again, I don't run normal circles. I am not a normal common person. But I am normal enough to want to be desired. I'm normal enough to know as an adult, as a YouTuber, it's really hard to meet people. So where am I going to meet them if not at the gym or online, right? Now, I ended up meeting my husband or my future husband um, online, which was, like, amazing. And that's great. And that's awesome but I could have also met him at the gym like that would have been a perfectly reasonable place to meet my partner so again I think we run the risk of diversity being the problem and I know everyone wants to deny this but if we are diverse as creatures we're going to have different opinions of what to do I think you should be able to hit on people at the gym I think you should also be socially aware not to do it in middle of a rep or in middle of them jogging on the treadmill or you know pick and choose your times or just be a really warm social open person and say hi I see we go to the gym every Saturday Saturday. I love seeing you here. Did you, I, I liked your shirt or a lot of the time I'll wear anime things to the gym on purpose to allow conversation to occur. Like sometimes the way I dress is to start a conversation. Do you know what I'm saying? And look, you can dress how you want at the gym. I know plenty of girls that wear big shirts and like literally put out the vibe of like, don't fuck with me. I have earphones in, don't fuck with me. And some people don't even read those signals and they still fuck up. But like the world is socially inept and different. The world is different because of diversity, because we live in America, which is a diverse country. You're going to have diverse opinions. Look, if my friend Melina, who I adore, and I'm not trying to pick a fight with her, I know some people were like, argue with Melina. I don't want to argue with my fucking friend. Look, if she is a woman who feels this way, this is valid. But I'm also a woman and I feel differently. And I think it's interesting because maybe, look, maybe I'm ugly, which has definitely been argued on the internet. Maybe I just look so much like a man. I don't understand what it's like to be a pretty girl because though I do get hit on quite frequently, maybe I don't get hit on enough right to be annoyed but let me tell you something that Andrew Schultz said that really stood out to me I was raped in my early 20s it was not a great time of my life and I was newly sexually active I hadn't been with very many people I had only been with like a few girls and boys like dating people very you know couple just a couple 
that I was assaulted. And prior to my assault, I am a very warm, touchy-feely person. I love when old ladies come up to touch me. I don't even mind. I didn't used to mind, even if they came up to touch my hair or if they were being curious. I was just okay. After my assault, even old ladies, I wanted to kill them. I wanted to stab them in the fucking face because I was so over being touched without my consent. I was so upset, right? And because I was upset that Even the most innocent of people would piss me off. And I'm not saying old people should come up and touch people's hair. That's fucking stupid. But at the same time, I know they're not like they don't have bad intentions. And so a part of me couldn't be the bigger person in those situations because I was in my trauma. I like that Andrew and the guys were saying, well, maybe they had been so fucked over by guys that their trauma was informing their reaction. This is so missing from the context of our conversations. In a world where we have high trust, in a world where we trust our neighbor not to rape us at the gym what would be the problem with a man talking to you at the gym or helping you out why couldn't she have said bro thank you so much and then if she has a boyfriend be like I wish my boyfriend was here to help me but he isn't which sends the signal to him she's taken but also allows him to still help or maybe if she's single you know just be a fucking adult and be like oh bro thank you so much for helping me with my weights I appreciate you and then have a discourse like maybe if we were more pro consent maybe if we actually like cared about people's feelings maybe if we allowed rejection to be normal we would all get along but the problem is we're all self-absorbed we're all fucking narcissists and the idea of being rejected hurts us so we become violent the idea of being approached and then not being able to get the one up on them like pre-rejecting them makes us feel like inadequate no matter what we're doing we're trying to almost get up it's like watching the button oh my god like watching the button as a show shows you how people are so afraid of being the one who gets rejected right except the girls episode which was really cute but you know women be women so again you have to decide what kind of world do you want to live in you have to decide do you want to live in a world where human beings are allowed to shoot their shot or they're not and again maybe i'm just an ugly girl and maybe that's the problem But I did used to go to the gym to get hit on because I wanted to find a husband or a wife, right? Like there was even a woman who joined the gym and I would look at my brother and I was like, ding, 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 ding. Like she was so beautiful. But obviously everyone is different. Not everyone wants to go to the gym to get hit on. So I get it. I totally, totally do. And there was even a time I went to the gym, which I never go by myself because I am actually worried about getting um, not assaulted in the gym. I'm afraid of getting assaulted going from my car to the gym or the gym to my car. So I only go with my brothers. But I went one night without my brother, which was like a mistake because I was there and there was one guy in the gym, totally normal, definitely roided out. And I was having, a, yeah, I was really happy for him to be happy with weight so he seemed happy but then this other guy came in not roided out not worked out not a lot of muscles and he came right upstairs to where I was and then got on a treadmill behind me instead of choosing any of the ones that were in line with me he got the one behind me and it just felt really creepy like ew are you like watching my butt which don't get me wrong (laughs) It's a good butt. Join my OnlyFans, which sounds contradictory. How can this girl who has an OnlyFans and wants to be and is okay with being objectified in that context isn't okay being objectified at the gym? It's not about that. In OnlyFans world, none of those guys can come up behind me and hit me over the head, right? But in a gym where there's one other guy and maybe he leaves, which I actually... Did that end up happening? I think he went to the bathroom. I think he was still there, the roided guy, but I think he went to the bathroom. And then in my head, since this gym is basically empty because it's nighttime, what if this guy behind me hits me over the head and drags me into the other room? No one will ever know. Or maybe there's video cameras and they should know. Like there are video cameras at the gym, but maybe he doesn't care, right? Maybe he doesn't give a fuck. So the point is, is that I don't mind being objectified from the safety of my home because no one can come kill me here, hopefully. But at the gym where a guy decides to work out behind me, well, now I have all this unnecessary anxiety, which could be my PTSD, right? It could be. And I think I'm allowed to be worried without causing a scene. So all I did is work out five more minutes, got off the treadmill, because what if he wasn't a bad guy? I didn't want to make him feel like I'm an asshole. So here's the conundrum, okay? I literally kept working out for five minutes more because I didn't, because in case he was a good person, I didn't want to give him the vibe of like another girl being creeped out that I'm around, right? So I waited another five minutes. I did some stretches to kind of like scope the area. And then I was like, you know, I'm just going to go home. Again, I don't want to be an asshole and insult this possibly innocent man who's just trying to go to the gym, right? And at the same time, what if he wasn't an innocent man? What if he was a rapist? So I also don't want to get stuck being so nice as a girl that I end up putting myself in a dangerous situation, which gets me raped. It's hard out here, okay, kids? So 
I ended up going home and telling my brother, I'm just not going to go to the gym without you. I don't like working out during the day because I have a lot of anxiety over a crowded gym. So I try to go at night or in early mornings. And my brother and I, again, we used to go at night at the time, but he couldn't go with me that day. So again, I understand I'm the issue. I don't want to go to the gym when there's a lot of people, but if there's not a lot of people, then you're less safe because there's not enough people to witness something if there's a crime. It's a conundrum, right? My anxiety stops me from wanting to go when it's crowded. It's a whole thing. So I'm trying to say the one thing I feel like we're all missing in this conversation is the nuance of the possibility that because of diversity and the uniqueness of human beings, we're going to have different reactions to the same thing. Once again, once again, everyone is so unique. And that's what I love about the world is that we are unique in so many ways. But you cannot tell me there aren't disadvantages to us being diverse and unique together. Okay, so major props to Flagrant for having a very nuanced take on the possibilities that these girls have had something bad happen, and that's why they're being bitches. But also, your trauma is not an excuse to hurt people. Hurt people hurt people. And just because you've been hurt, that does not mean you get to hurt other people, right? So go to fucking therapy and get your shit under control and go to a women's gym if you're going to be an asshole. And at the same time, to the men out there, please just be aware that women are dealing with layers of issues around the male person and there might be some trauma, some PTSD, and it is okay to be cautious. I feel like the guy in the original video with a girl who's like, uh, feral, 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 I felt like that guy really hesitated. He tried to think about it. He was really like, he really tried to be, I think, conscientious. Um, And I think that's something to be important of. The second girl, obviously just trauma. The guy was just looking at you, bitch. And I hate to say this, but like, even I look at women who take off their clothes. That's what I'm saying. Maybe it's the gay in me because I am a homosexual. So maybe it's that. But I couldn't imagine a hot girl at the gym and she's taking off her sweater. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to catch a glance. I'm like, oh. And then I'm not even going to lie we're really objectifying as a family. We think it's great to celebrate like hot people. So Mark, my brother and I will be at the gym. We'll be like working out and I'll be like, do you see that? And we'll look at this person or sometimes I'll wave my brother down. I'm like, hot girl, hot girl, hot girl. We're always trying to get each other laid or partnered or in love because don't act like you all aren't out here trying to get in love. Like, aren't we all trying to fall in love? Or if you're not, that's great. I love that for you. That's awesome. But like, okay, some of us out here are trying to fall in love. So how do you fall in love? You have to meet somebody, which means it has to be awkward. So anyways, I'm not saying it's perfect. I'm saying there's nuance. Melina is allowed to be a girl who doesn't want to get hit on at the gym. I am allowed to be a woman who wants to get hit on at the gym. Okay? Okay. Thank you for watching my TED Talk. I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye. My head in real life while I'm dead My belly's being fed and I'm okay I'm just fine, yet all I do is whine Not to you in my mind, cause I know I don't make sense I've been nothing but blessed So why's my life a mess? Please tell me, cause I'm sick of thinking Yeah, I'm sick of reaching out for the truth and living life as a fool dun, 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 dun.